hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today again we're going to beat this face we're going to make sure we look fabulous at the end of this video so stay tuned this is a get ready with me video um you're gonna see the look at the end of the video so make sure you watch to the end to see the transformation so i'm usually as i'm starting off with brushing my eyebrows up so that they can just look um fluffy and nice although basically we're not going to do a fluffy eyebrow but you know it's good to make them look neat first and then after that i'm just going to outline the brow shape that i want and i'm just using a black eyebrow pencil just to outline the shape that i want and then after outlining the shape that i want i'm going to try and fill in that um shape using like a dark brown pencil because i don't really want like a really really dark thick brow then I'm going to go in with my usual eyebrow my mascara, which is by the brand Pastel, and this is just in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm basically just combing through my eyebrows so that they can, uh, you know, hold, stay in place using the eyebrow mascara because it's just like a wax. And then after that, I'm just going to go in with a spoolie and try and comb through the brows. And after that, I'm going to highlight my brows using a concealer, and the concealer that I'm using is the uh, illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn that's the one that i've applied below my eyebrows to define them so i'm just going through the brows basically with a brush to make sure that it is nicely um blended and then after that i'm just going to use my fit me concealer as an eyeshadow primer the purpose of an eyeshadow primer is to create an even base on your for your eyeshadow and also to create like a surface that the eyeshadow can stick to well and i'm just using the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade honey not honey in the shade caramel yeah after this i've just applied eyeshadow all over my eyelid and i'm using the i heart revolution um eyeshadow palette and that color that i applied as a base color is called squidge and then the one i'm applying in the outer corner of my eye is called t yeah because i'm really going for like, like a light eyeshadow look very light i've never gone this light this is the lightest i'll ever go and then the nice glittery things that i'm applying there are from the shade exquisite which is just a glitter shade and i've just applied it only at the center of my eye now what i'm doing there looks pretty painful but i promise you that it's not so what i'm doing is that i'm lining my inner eyelids uh, just the inner on top and also below of my eyelids using a colossal it's called Colossal Kajal and it's by Maybelline, which is basically an eyeliner and it's in the shade Extra Black. So that's what I'm just using to line my eyes. Yes, looks crazy, right? <laughs> I can assure you that there is no pain involved, just a bit of tears. I'm trying to blend um, that eyeshadow, the white eyeshadow, so that I don't have a stark line like on my face so i'm just trying to blend it out so that it can look out slightly more blended and then now time to prime the face and i'm just using my usual mattifying primer by maybelline and uh, i'm just applying it all over my face uh yeah because that's where i normally apply my primer there are some people who just apply on the t-zone where the areas that are supposed to be shiny uh, are but me i normally apply it all over my face and a little goes a long way so you don't have to use a lot and now i've just used blush i've used the crayola shade in in very cherry as a blush and as a highlighter i've just used the shade mango tango so i've blended those two colors in and i've applied it on i've applied them on my cheeks and at the tip of my nose and that's what i'm just going to use as blush so i'm just using a brush a flat brush basically just to blend it all out nicely to make the blend even more even i'm just going to go in with a beauty blender and make sure that it's nicely blended before before the next step which is actually a foundation and for foundation i'm going to use my usual clinic foundation and i always say that the clinic foundation that i normally use is for neutral skin tones and it's in the shade spice and this is the color that i have gotten that is literally my skin like i cannot get any better than this okay of course i can maybe from other brands but for clinic that's the one that is nearest to my skin tone as you can see it literally looks like my skin and i'm just using a beauty blender and a damp beauty beauty blender of course to just tap that in so that it blends nice and even 
and when it comes to foundation you can never blend enough so the more you blend the better so make sure that you, that that foundation is nicely blended tap for as long as you possibly can and then for the next step which is actually concealer i'm going to use the revlon photo ready concealer and uh, this is this was supposed to be in the shade medium but it's always been too light and uh, but i still use it it's super super light for my skin uh, i can go up like one or two shades darker than than this so that at least it can be better but uh, i'm just i've just applied it like on on my under eyes uh to like hide eye bags and also to highlight the under eye area and i'm just blending it out with a brush followed by a beauty blender again because a beauty blender always does a better job but you can only start off with a brush and finish off with a beauty blender and again as i always say make, if you cannot blend enough make sure that you really really blend it blend take your time when you're blending Take your sweet sweet time and then next to highlight the uh, under eyes i'm just going to apply um the sasha buttercup setting powder and i'm just going to use that to set the concealer that i've just applied and i'm tapping everywhere that i applied the concealer basically with that sasha buttercup and as it hurts i'm going to do my lips which again i'm going to go in with that black pencil it was not an eyebrow pencil it was just a multi-purpose pencil the one that i used on my eyebrows and i'm just going to outline the shape that i want because i'm an african i would like outlining the inner of my lips for lipstick i'm going to go in with the maybelline um super sting matte ink shade in the shade voyager which is number 50 and this is just like a matte red reddish it's a reddish maroon it's actually maroon right a maroon shade of lipstick and that's what, just what i'm basically going to do because i don't really want um multiple colors because the the eyeshadow is a bit too bright and I'm just going to remove that powder that I had applied for co to, to set my concealer. That Sasha Buttercup is the one I'm removing in this step. And I'm just using a small brush, fluffy brush to do that. I don't know, but I feel that this look would be suitable for people who have really deep set eyes. Like if you have like sunken eyes or something of the sort. Because I feel like that eyeshadow just makes the eyes more visible, right? Yeah, so I don't think if you have like a mono lid, this eyeshadow would suit you. But if you have sunken eyes, this eyeshadow is perfect for you. And now to finally set my entire face, I'm going to use the black opal uh, powder, setting powder. And this is in the shade medium. And this is just their true color powder. And yeah, basically that's what I'm applying all over the face to make sure that the entire face is set. And also like to even out like any harshness that the Sasha Buttercup had and all that. Just using a big fluffy brush like to apply it. Yeah. And you can never blend enough also. Take your time. Take your sweet, sweet time when you're doing this step so that you don't create any harsh lines. You don't pre create any kicks. Yeah. So that it can be a nice and even finish. And finally for bronzer, uh, just to like contour my face. Uh, and specifically, I normally just like use it to like darken my forehead and below my cheekbones. I use the Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade Dark. So I just tap a little bit on my forehead and under my cheeks and just like blend a little bit. Huh? And then uh, I normally for highlighter, I'm using the NYX highlighter. And this is their high glass illuminating powder in the shade Golden Hour. So that's just the one that I'm using to like highlight my face. And finally, I'm just going to set all that using a setting spray. Although this step is not necessary, but uh, I, th I think it produces somehow more of a good effect. Mm -hmm. 